get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, here we are once again in... <laughs> the Everyday Kitchen. God, my intro was so awesome! Anyway, we're going to do something super simple today. Somewhat healthy. Okay, pretty healthy. Pretty good stuff compared to what I normally will do. So, what is it we're going to do today, Mr. Mikeyson? Well, what we're going to do today, let's take a look, shall we? Come on. Boom! We're going to make a salad. We have just a classic garden iceberg lettuce. Then we have a little bit of baby spinach. We got some olives. We got a little bit of Italiano dressing. We have some sharp cheddar cheese. We have a tomato. We have a cucumber. And I'm making some chicken. So most likely I'm going to have chicken in my salad. Some people like to call it a chicken salad. Grilled chicken salad? I don't know. Anyway. Very easy to do, guys. Again, this is the everyday kitchen for everyday people. What's that mean? Well, that means anyone from 50 years old on down to 20, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Anyone that needs help with a little bit of some simple ideas to not feel so overwhelmed in the kitchen. Now I could go in here and I could cook an amazing meal and take all day to do it. I could do like you see on YouTube all the time and all these amazing meals. I could do all that too. And I have got some decent uh, videos on here with me cooking some uh, stuff a little bit more intricate than this. But this is for people that are looking for something quick, something kind of healthy, something you can grab at the store, bring home, throw together without spending the whole day messing around. Now I do have the chicken already going. It's just a bag of some uh, chicken tenders. I had four left, so I dumped them in the skillet, turned it on medium high. I now have it down on pretty, on kind of low. Let's turn it up a hair. But, you know, when you got the lid on, you don't have to have it quite so high because the heat builds up. These are things you need to listen to and understand, guys. It's helping you to do it, to help you cook. Uh, the lids, they hold in heat. You don't have to have quite so much heat. A big problem that a lot of people have is turning the eyes up so high that everything's burning and getting done too quick on the outside and not enough on the inside. So. Get the heat built up a little bit and then turn it back down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut up uh, cucumber, cut up some tomato, and let's do that, shall we? Now I'm only going to cut up just a bit because I'm the only one that's going to be eating tonight. So, and I washed it clean. There we go. A little bit of tomato. I washed it. Let's cut this part out right here. I'm going to save that. We 
got our tomatoes and our cucumbers cut up. Everything's ready. We're just waiting on the chicken to get done. Now, I don't normally buy this, so this is fairly new to me. It's gonna have a pretty good taste. Tuscan house Italian dressing. Boy, it's filled with all kind of herbs and spices and crap off in there. Hmm. Looks pretty good to me. A little sliced olives. Yeah. Cheese open. Have everything ready to go. Mmm. You know, I just learned that they add an ingredient to shredded cheese in a pack uh, that keeps it from sticking together and balling up, you know, and being mushy and sticky and all that. And I'm thinking that that's why this kind of cheese doesn't really melt real well. Like if you were to put that kind of cheese in, a, in some ramen noodles or something and, and uh, try to eat it, it all ball up and kind of be weird and uh, not do so well. Believe me, I've done it a hundred times. Whenever I'm at a regular cheese that, that's made for melting like that, I've had to use it and it doesn't do well. We'll kick up the heat just a little bit for a couple of minutes and uh, we'll be back guys. Simple, easy to do. All right, we'll be back. Looks good, huh? Now the other two are in the pan still. Let them cook up. All right. So guys, let's make our plate or bowl, shall we? Over here.
All right, guys, here we are, finished product. You've seen the pictures, you've seen the process. A lot of times you think about a salad and you think, well, I don't want to just eat a salad. Uh, I need something else. Well, don't forget, guys, chicken. You can throw chicken in there. That's the most popular meat to throw in uh, to a salad. I'm sure if you want something else in there, go for it. Mm, that's good dressing. Another thing you can do is, of course, this chicken came out the frying pan. What you could do, get your chicken done and then put it in the fridge and let it get nice and cold. And then put it in your salad. Because uh, sometimes, you know, some people might want it cold. And some people might not care. So, I don't care either way. It's all good. Tomato. Mmm. You seen how easy it was, guys. Mmm. <coughs> good stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, new episode of The Everyday Kitchen. Again, why is it The Everyday Kitchen? Look at it. Ooh, scary. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Don't forget to check out the playlist. It has a plethora of all kinds of stuff off in there. I cover every subject, every topic in the world. If you can't find something on Mikey Sin TV, get out of here. Get! Anyway, also check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games. I may even live stream tonight. So guys, don't forget, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it, even when doing something so simple as a salad and adding chicken and creating a whole new experience. That's all it takes, a little bit, little bit of effort, guys, that's all. And you can have a great meal, all right? So we'll see you guys later. I'm fixing to tear this stuff up. That's what she said. We'll see y'all later. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!